I was taught that our arts carry the spirit of the people. It is through art that we know ourselves. It's through art that we will go forward into the world, and it's art is how our cultures will be remembered. You know, I grew up with a, with a renowned basket weaver. My mother was Mabel McKay, and so she uh, taught me from a, a very young age to appreciate Native art and understand why Native art was important. Native art is a very wonderful thing of beauty, and yet it's also a barometer for the ages for people to understand Native people. If we didn't have art, we would have no color. We would live in a black and white world. We would live in a world with no rhythm, no singing, no dancing, no design, a world without dimension. It is with art that we regenerate ourselves. If we're going to continue as living cultures, we have to the spirit of our people, and it's art that takes care of the spirit of our people. After decades of visioning by indigenous leaders, the Ford Foundation helped launch the Native Arts and Cultures Foundation. We are a philanthropic organization dedicated to revitalizing and strengthening Native arts and cultures. We serve all corners of the nation, from Hawaii, Alaska, and the whole continental United States. Native Arts and Cultures Foundation is an organization that has a, at the root of its mission, imagination. To imagine ourselves as thriving, strong, vibrant, communities. This is absolutely crucial to the continuation of our peoples as whole and living entities. The important thing about the foundation is it's bridging these large vast geographic areas, um, populations, and we're going to be have a closer knit because we have a voice now. We have our own foundation. I think it's an organization that will make it easier for us to all be connected.